first, the second, and the third things that I've mentioned are mostly technical analysis because what's nice about technical analysis, it tells you about sentiment and it tells you how people are reacting by the way they're actually buying. And if there's one thing about price, it's more forward looking than any economic indicator that you could possibly have as well. Number four is this market sentiment analysis. What do I mean by that? So in this video, I want to talk about how can you spot the bottom of the market or at least some indicators that, hey, maybe we are at the bottom already. I'm answering this not from a perspective that I have a crystal ball. Given that I've been close to 15 years in the stock market and 4 plus years in crypto, you'll notice this the longer you are in investing. No one can predict how low a market will go. No one can predict also how bad things could actually be or how good things could actually be. There are certain things that we could find out how certain cycles were in the past in order for you to determine also if it's almost the same. Investing, regardless if it's stocks, crypto, real estate, they all just move in cycles or even the economy, it all just moves in cycles, meaning there will be a point where it's dropping, there will be a point also where it's at its lows and it feels that it's not going anywhere. And in a way also, people felt invincible in the crypto market when we saw Bitcoin hit 69,000 at the end of 2021, people were already saying that, oh, this is going to hit 100,000, it's going to go to the moon. But when everyone felt it was invincible, that's when we saw weakness. And I'll say this also, similar to the collapse of FTX, every bear market, in my opinion, is characterized also by a big financial institution that has crashed. I thought it was Terra Luna. But if you look at it, FTX was an even larger institution that crashed. But if you put all of the other things that were connected to it, from BlockFi to Celsius to Voyager, that entire connection of large financial institutions that were interconnected to each other, I think contributes to say that those were the large institutions that may have indicated the bottom of this particular bear market. But number one, for me, volume analysis. A decrease in trading volume often indicates a lack of investor interest and can be an indicator of an approaching market bottom. When there's no good news, everything seems all bad. People don't want to invest. And that's the time also when smart money comes in. A lot of people who have cash, have liquidity, start to come in and start to quietly position. Check out how volumes are. Compare it to when the market was bullish compared to when everyone wanted to invest, when everyone wanted to come in, versus a season and a time when volumes start to dwindle. That could be an indicator already that the market is starting to bottom out and the reversal is coming in soon. Number two is trend line analysis. This is highly connected already to technicals as well. Plotting the trend line of a cryptocurrency or a stock price for that matter can help you determine the support level, which could be the potential bottom of the market. Particular cryptocurrencies and stocks that are in downward trend lines by connecting the highest point when it started to reverse down to where we are. As long as that trend line is not broken, then we are still in a downtrend. Please do remember this, the longer the trend line, the longer the resistance, the stronger it actually is. So as long as that trend line is solid, there's an expectation still that the downward trend is still intact, the bear market is still intact. But if that trend line gets broken, then we have indication of buying, we have indication of more people positioning and we have at least a glimpse that a reversal may be coming as well. The number three is moving average analysis. A moving average is a technical analysis tool that can help you determine the trend and direction of a cryptocurrency. If the moving average is sloping downward, it could indicate that the market is bearish and reaching a bottom. But what I'll indicate here is this, similar to trend line analysis, you just wait up until the candlestick pushes above that moving average. And if you want really a bottoming out, it's very important to use longer moving averages like the 200 day moving average. Similar to a trend line, the longer it is, the stronger it is as well. So what I want to submit to you is this, use a moving average. Could be a 100 day moving average, could be a 200 day moving average. I personally like the 200 day moving average more. As long as it's below that line, 
the market, the stock, the crypto that you're watching still is bearish, still hasn't reversed. Wait for it up until it crosses above that. If that coincides with the trend line, even better because it coincides also with our second topic, trend line analysis. So if you want to put this together, if a stock or a crypto is in a downtrend with volume getting lower, suddenly it breaks past a trend line and a moving average with strong volume. That could be an indication that it's bottoming out. So if you notice it also, the first, the second, and the third things that I've mentioned are mostly technical analysis because what's nice about technical analysis, it tells you about sentiment and it tells you how people are reacting by the way they're actually buying. And if there's one thing about price, it's more forward looking than any economic indicator that you could possibly have as well. Number four is this market sentiment analysis. What do I mean by that? Market sentiment is pay attention to news and social media discussions around a certain cryptocurrency or a certain stock. A negative market sign can be a sign that the market is reaching its bottom. So I'll give you an example. In 2008, when the market crashed massively, when Lehman Brothers closed down and filed for bankruptcy, when there were more negative news that were coming out, more companies that were actually closing, and people were saying that this is the end of capitalism, this is the end of the markets, things are not going so well already. If you look at the charts, they were just about to reverse it. Right? It didn't go down lower anymore. And I think that could be a sign. The more negative, that's an indication already when a asset is battered down. That's when the bears are at the loudest. That's when they scream the most. In the same way, when a market is topish, you have a lot of people that are not into cryptocurrency suddenly talking about cryptocurrencies. You have a lot of people who are not into stocks talking about stocks. You have a lot of people that really don't know anything about it, but they're FOMOing into it. That's an indication that it's a bit topish. So flip that for markets that are bearish and are bottoming out. When the bears are at its loudest, that's when it's about to reverse upward. That's when maybe we are at the bottom as well. And lastly, you could use Fibonacci retracements. Fibonacci retracements, similar to the first, second, and third points, are all technical indicators. A Fibonacci retracement is a technical analysis tool that uses horizontal lines to identify possible levels of support and resistance in the market. If a cryptocurrency reaches a key Fibonacci level, it could indicate that it has hit its bottom and it's ready to reverse in its trends. Watch out for support levels that as a crypto or a stock hits that level and it doesn't fall anymore, it stays at that level, it holds. It means that there are people who are buying at that level. The reason why it's not dropping anymore because people think that it's already cheap. When people think it's already cheap, when people buy, it doesn't fall, it doesn't drop, and it forms a base already. It could just wait for just a positive news, something that changes in regulatory framework, inflation going down as a trigger for it to cause other people to buy higher. But always pay attention to support levels because as those support levels are holding, it means that people are buying already at that particular level. And that falling or the downtrend or its continuation of it going down may be over as well. So just to summarize everything that I said, you could use volume analysis, you could use trend line analysis, you could use moving averages, you could use market sentiment analysis, and you can use Fibonacci retracement analysis as well, or aka just looking at the support level if it's holding. I'll keep you updated also on how the markets are on a regular basis. So if you want to be updated, like, share, subscribe, it costs you nothing. And if you have questions, put it down below because it also helps out the YouTube algorithm and it helps me to make videos that you guys like as well. And that's the reason, that's the main narrative on why I keep making videos like this. I want you guys to be educated in a way that will help you to make wise decisions when it comes to the crypto and the stock markets as well. So that's it for now. If you want to know more about me, links are down below on the books that I've written, the videos that I've made, and the webinars that I have as well. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you.